Seth Davis Branitz divides his time between raising sons, feeding people, getting better, and reiterating experiences through short stories and song. He hasn't had a cigarette in many years, but he really wants one now. <laughs> Seth Davis Branitz. Once again, I was falling apart. I found myself confiding in my older son, dumping on him, really, matters of self-esteem deficiencies, existential concerns, suicide. He was five. <laughs> and he listened so beautifully, so carefully. Then in a gasp, I came to my senses, and I asked him if he even understood the things I was saying, hoping he hadn't, or if they were over his head. He said, some of them I don't understand, and the rest are over my head. I've strived to let my sons know that not long ago, I too was a boy. I feel, I fear, and cry, and we're not so different, my boys and me, or anyone for that matter. But there are things about me I'd have preferred they remained unaware of. I, like I wish they'd never seen my rage, my impatience, or my regret. I wish their friends didn't have more well-adjusted, richer, younger fathers to compare me to. That even though long ago I heard the dictates of my heart, I turned a deaf ear and have really just begun to correct my course. But time might be the great forgiver. Because like when my younger boy, three, there was something wrong with him. He wouldn't stop taking off his seatbelt and trying to open his car door in the throughway. He was a fucking monster, really, no matter how I tried to stop him. Like, I reasoned, and then I bargained, I threatened him, and finally I duct taped him to his car seat. <laughs> I didn't tell his mom for years because it was dangerous and stupid, but now we all laugh at him, at him, at me. And maybe that's what it's about, making the mess and being the mess, knowing what we are, facing it, fixing what we can, owning the rest. Because it can't be all about change, and I'm not into shielding them from what's inevitable. The rain's coming, boys. Don't worry about staying dry. Just learn to paddle. Don't be safe. Just be you. I say. And it's not about being immortal. It's about time well spent, loving like crazy, making beautiful stuff, being soft, being ferocious, being ourselves, even when it hurts. But it's not easy. Not for me. It's been hard. I rarely burden my kids anymore with my crazy shit. I go to therapy and I talk to my friends. And I sing about it. I write about it. I work on it. I'm doing a bit better. And while I know life provides reasonable next choices, I don't always listen to reason. And there are roadmaps for success, but all I see are squiggles and stripes. And there are rules to follow for best practice and desirable results. But I'll tell you, some of them I'm afraid I don't understand. And the rest are over my head. Thank you. <laughs>